a solution for homeowners hoping to save their trees from invasive pests. In the fight against the emerald ash borer, Vermonters are turning to house calls to save their ash trees, as Sophia Thomas shows us. Smack dab in the middle of Julia Roberts' backyard, a massive ash tree is the star of the show. Boy, does it change the temperature. In this backyard, you go in other people's backyard that don't have a tree, it just makes, I don't know, it feels at least 10 degrees different. So when an arborist friend told Roberts about treatment options to prevent damage from invasive emerald ash borers, she was sold. He said it'll probably cost a little bit, but what's a tree worth that's shading the whole backyard? It shades the trampoline, shades the grass here, shades the deck. Roberts connected with a local arborist who injects the tree with a preventative pesticide every other year. Injections are $300, a price she's willing to pay to save her tree. I thought, geez, I'd pay that at the grocery store in a couple of trips. Ginger Nickerson with Vermont Urban and Community Forestry Program says ash trees are a common fixture among Vermont households. They're salt tolerant, um, they're great shade trees, so many people might have a green ash either in front of their house on the street or in their yard. Nickerson says the injections many parks and communities treat their ash trees with can be a great residential resource too. Pricing varies, but Nickerson points out that shelling out for treatment is often a better alternative to tree removal. Doing the injections every few years can be comparable to to what it would cost to remove the tree, but then you get to preserve it for the shade that it provides, for the property values, for the homeowner to have a lovely big tree. To assess your own yard, Nickerson recommends contacting a local arborist who can look for damage and help you navigate next steps. You should start thinking about how do you want to deal with that? Do you want to treat your ash tree to preserve it or do you want to remove it? For Roberts, preserving her ash was worth it. I actually came out here with my grandkids a few days ago, and it was nighttime, and they wanted to see the fireflies. And we all lay down on the deck, and there was still plenty of light, um, but it was probably, I don't know, 9.30 at night. And I said, just look at this tree, kids. I want them to appreciate trees.